Hello viewers, in this session we are going to construct triangle ANR. So what is that is triangle ANR with AN and AR are equal to 5 cm and 6 cm. So AN will be equal to 5 cm, then AR will be equal to 6 cm. Then respectively and angle N will be equal to 100 degrees. Then check whether the you will get two triangles or not. So first, which line we have to write? Either this AR should write or AN should write. So which angle they are going to give? Beside that, this vertex in which line segment is present? AN. So for that, it's better to draw AN than AR. Which line? Which angle they are given? Based on that, we have to draw line segment. So draw 5 cm, so keep your scale horizontally and draw 5 cm. So what is that 5 cm is, so it is AN that is equal to 5 cm, then again AR it is there and angle N will be equal to 100 degrees. So what we'll do is place your protractor at the N vertex and coincide this left angle, left line of protractor with the A N line segment. From here, we need to start 0, 10 like that. So start angle measuring. Here, you'll get 100 degrees. Sorry, here you'll get 100 degrees. So what we need to do is, draw one ray from n with 100 degrees angle so what is this angle so this angle will be equal to 100 degrees so angle n will be equal to 100 degrees then what we have to do is take your compass take your scale so we have to measure six centimeter with zero from zero six so coincide that compass one side with a zero pencil at six centimeter. So A R right. So for that A is the center. A is the center. Draw one arc. Draw one arc, which need to coincide opposite ray. Draw one arc. So draw arc with a radius six centimeter. So locate the point. Locate the point with this N. Let's take this is X. NX ray coincide with this R. That point is what? R. That point is R. So join. Join AR. Join AR. That is what? 6 centimeter. That is 6 centimeter. So we are constructed triangle, but they are asked whether you get two triangles or not. Whether you will get two triangles means we have to draw one more circle like this. With six centimeter radius, draw one circle like that and measure angle with the end down, which need to coincide left side. From here we need to measure angle so where you will get 100 is here you will get 100 so from 0 it is 100 so draw one ray draw one ray like this so this angle will be equal to so this angle will be equal to 100 degrees that angle will be equal to 100 degrees and draw measure here is that 6 centimeter it is there or not yes it is there then a as a center draw one more arc arc with the 6 centimeter where that point is coincide that point is known as r dash so join the two lines join the two lines Yes, we will get two triangles. What is this measurement? So this is six centimeter. 
so we are constructed the uh, triangles yes we are getting two triangles so finally you can draw like this so one triangle then draw like this it will be good thanks for watching please yes thanks for watching our videos if not yet subscribe please subscribe here construct triangle pqr with qr 5.5 cm and qp 5.5 cm and angle at q is 60 degrees then we have to find what is the length of rp and what type of triangle you are getting so now we'll start before going to that which line segment we have to draw we should know here angle given q as 60 degrees this q is presented in both the line segments any one you can draw so we're going to draw q r with 5.5 centimeter so 5.5 centimeter so up to here 5 then half mm so what is this q r so what is this is Q R. So Q R. Then angle Q is equal to 60 degrees. So place your protractor at Q and coincide this right side protractor 0 degrees with the line segment. Why? Because where it will be coincide from there we have to start measuring angle with the 0 degrees. So I am placing like this and coincide right side 0 degrees then up to 60 degrees. So 0 to 60 draw one ray draw one ray from q to the qx so let's take this one will be qx qx ray what is the angle is here that is 60 degrees then qp we know qp is we know so what is that is 5.5 centimeter so take one side here then here 60 is there 5.5 centimeter so this is measure 5.5 then from q draw an arc with the radius the radius 5.5 centimeter locate that point as p locate that point is P and join join QR RP so join RP so what is that RP we have to measure what is the length of RP is so length of RP is also 5.5 centimeter so length of RP is 5.5 centimeter this is also 5.5 centimeter this is also 5.5 centimeter then if you measure angles at everywhere so it's coming 60 degrees then we're going to coincide we'll go, this is also 60 degrees so everywhere we are getting 60 degrees 60 60 degrees so what type of triangle it is so that is rp will be equal to 5.5 centimeter then triangle pqr or triangle pqr is equilateral triangle equilateral triangle why because all sides are equal in length then finally we can give like this so in classwork also it's better to draw like this then it will be attractive so make it like this then it will be good thanks for watching please subscribe